I'm Danny Ahrens, and this is my Misfit 17 card prediction. DTG versus Minicon. I'm going to Minicon because of height advantage. It's either going to be a boring, sloppy fight because they're going to be drained, or somebody's going to get knocked out. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Minicon. I think DTG will get the win. Uh, I know him, seen him fight before. He's strong, yeah. Well, yeah, I've seen both of them fight, um, but judging off Minicon's last performance, I think DTG will probably take it. I mean, DTG's been looking kind of good. Nah, <laughs> gotta go Minicon, man. I've been putting in that work. I'm gonna say DTG, because he looks like he's got more of a power advantage. Uh, I just met him on DTG, so I'm gonna go with DTG. It's good enough for me. Next question, you know the answer. Minicon, size. We'd say DTG. Yeah, stronger. Got to back the boy DTG. Bro's been training hard. He's looking good. I'm gonna go DTG. Round two. I'm I'm thinking DTG. Um, obviously, I saw him yesterday at the Kremlin. He was looking strong, looking confident. He's got a good team around him. So yeah, I'm saying DTG. Jake Cornish versus Mike Edwards. I'm going Jake Cornish. Type shit. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go with Jake. I'm gonna go with Jake. Just cause you look better. You dig no, no Diddy. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? And I think he's from Ireland, so this is this is hometown. So but anyway. Mike Edwards. I'll go with Mike Edwards. Jake's the taller guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Jake. I'm gonna say Jake Cornish. I watched him on the violin. He looks like a strong lad. Mike Edwards. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my Nigerian brother. Obviously, Jake showed man love online. My guy, but yeah, Nigerian brother, Mike. Ooh, you know now. I haven't seen either of the two lads boxing, but me and Jake are playing in the button factory after the free show. I'm gonna go with my boy Jake. You know what, I originally said Jake Cornish, but I've been seeing Mike Edwards around the hotel, around fight week. Bro looks ready. So I'm gonna go Mike Edwards on that one. To be honest with you, I'm gonna go for Mike Edwards on this one. Whew, that's a good one. Ben Williams versus Warren Spencer. I'm going with Warren Spencer because he went toe to toe with Aaron Chalmers. I'm gonna have to go with my boy Ben. He's been putting the work in. He looked like he got a 12 pack right now. You dig what I'm saying? He in his country, so I hope you put it on. Best of luck to you, my boy. I think Ben will do it, yeah, Ben Williams. Oh, I think Ben, ben Williams is supposed to take it, you know, he's the hometown guy, so. I'm gonna go with Ben Williams, I've seen him. Um, he put Fez Batista down, so. Uh, I'm going with Ben Williams, he's looking pretty sharp on the pads. Ben Williams, Ben's looking very sharp, sparred, sparred Ben a few, uh, actually only a few days ago. Ben, ben looks good, if he goes in there and does, does, does what he should do, I think he'll get the job done. I'm gonna go with Ben, he get me in his hometown, First fight was great. I actually watched um, the other guy fight at Crypto Fight Night, and yeah, that was it wasn't the greatest performance. So, Ben, Ben, Ben Williams. Come on, man. That's a, that's a, that's a dumb, dumb question. Ben Williams, round one, knockout, easy. I'm gonna say Ben. Um, again, you know, it, this isn't Ben's Ben's first rodeo, especially not on Misfits. So yeah, he's confident. He's looking good. He's looking better every year. So yeah, go on, Ben. Go on, Sammy Hamid. That's my boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Prince and see him soon. Hopefully, he better, he better put it on for your daddy. You dig what I'm saying? You better, you, you ain't got no choice. <laughs> Obviously, no brainer. Jesse Clark all day. I hope Sammy wins. Sammy Hammond, better win. Royalty. Jesse Clark's getting sparked. Sammy Hammond, you gotta go with the, the son of the prince. Like, you know, he's got, he comes from a great boxing family, great boxing lineage. You gotta think that they, uh, he hasn't just been sitting on his hands all these, all these years, so gotta go with Sammy. Jesse, you know. I ain't gonna say why, but yeah, I know a thing or two. Sammy. Well, I haven't seen Jesse Clark, but I'd say Sammy Hammett. Um, obviously, his dad's a legend, and uh, yeah, he's got some good experience. Sammy is the boy. Uh, I've spoke to him a lot this uh, this fight week. We've been we've been chilling. He's gonna win. He, he actually told me he doesn't want to win round one, so I'm gonna give him a round two KO. Sammy, 100%. Speaking to Sammy yesterday. Again, another solid team around him. He was looking good yesterday. He's looking confident, in great shape. So, yeah, I reckon he's going to get the win. I'm going to go with HS Tiki Taki. Not a fan of what he does, but I respect his hustle. Uh, I don't know who the other dude is. Um, I know Tiki Taki dude from, uh, he beat up that fat dude with, that had like UFC gloves. Caught him on the street and ended up beating him up. It's crazy getting beat up with UFC gloves. Imagine being prepared with UFC gloves and you get beat up. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go with HS uh, Tiki Taki. I think HS will do it from what I've seen of George. It doesn't look great, I must say. Uh, and HS, we've seen him have some, a few street fights and he looks pretty decent in them, so yeah, HS. I think George is taking that one. 
Yeah. HS Tiki Taki. Um, I saw him brawl in the street. <laughs> uh, HS Tiki Taki's going to do a number on him. I got no clue. I'm going to go with HS because, yeah, I've seen him punch up man on the stream. Mm, so I go with HS. Uh, he looks a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's got some fucking experience. Charging. This is this is probably the this is the match, man. This is the the fight that I have absolutely no idea what happens. I'm gonna say HS, but I don't I don't know why. Like I don't I haven't seen any of them really fight. So, but I'll go HS. I reckon he, he turns up on the night. George Fenson, obviously, that little bean's gonna get wiped. Come on, man. Anthony Taylor, first round knockout, victorious over Anderson Silva's son. Gabe Silva, you dig what I'm saying? Go in there, he's skillful, one of the most skillful on Dean Fitz, aka Miss Fitz, you dig what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to go with my boy Gabe. And I think he's gonna finally be the one to shut up AT, bro. Cause goddamn, niggas, and I'm sure everybody tired of this nigga. You dig, but yeah, I'm going go with Gabe. I think that'll be a really good fight, one I'm really looking forward to. Um, I think Anthony Taylor. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be betting on Gabe, but I think Anthony's sharpened up now and, and he's a bit more clever. He's getting knocked out. Night night. <sighs> this is gonna be Anthony's toughest fight, but I gotta go with AT. That's a very interesting fight. Um, I go back and forth with AT. That's my guy, so I'm gonna go with AT. I don't know too much about Gabriel Silva. I know he's, he's tall, he's long, he's rangy. Similar to myself. Um, Anthony Taylor just, I don't know what it is about him since he's come to Misfits. He just seems to find a way to win every time. He's active as well. He's only he only fought like what last week or the week before, so he's he's he's, he's big as well. Like he's a, he's a he's a chunky boy these days. So it's a toss up, but I'm gonna go with a uh, I'm gonna go with Anthony Taylor. He's a champ. He's just, he's found a way to win. But no disrespect to Gabe Silva. I look forward to seeing. Him. Obviously, he comes from a great a great lineage as well. So no disrespect. I think AT. You know, I like this new AT. He's um yeah. He's a changed man. I think he's a boxer now, not a hugger. I, I want to say AT because he's on a roll. And I think, you know, that's, that's something that people take for granted. You know, when you're on a roll, you get momentum. So I think he's got momentum on his side. He might roll through this one too. I'm going to go with Gabe Silva, you know. But Anthony Taylor's on a roll at the moment, so could go either way. Anthony Taylor, man. I don't know what he's done in the past few months, but bro's, bro's turned it on. He actually looks like a serious fighter now, so I'm gonna give it to him round, mm, round three. Uh, I'm gonna go with Anthony. Um, again, he, yesterday really gave me a good analysis of, um, of where everyone's at in terms of their ability. So yeah, he's looking good, so Anthony for sure. I'm going with my guy, Dean the Great. Man, you already know, man, Dean. Dean, we on Dean Fitz, you dig what I'm saying? And we in Dean AKA Ireland. You dig what I'm saying? It's my country. I'm gonna put it on, put him in the dirt, and then retire him. Then I'm gonna hire him as a cameraman. You dig? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dean the Great. Yeah, yeah. I've just been really impressed with him, his whole influence of boxing career. Dean the Great. Dean the Great. Dean the Great's gonna uh, wipe the floor with him. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna stop Dean. I'm not gonna say what round, but I think I have the, the tails in my belt to stop him. I see him talking about going on to fight Shakur Stevenson and Ryan Garcia. I think. That's absolutely laughable. Yeah, he's, I've said from the start he's not bad, but there's levels to this game and he's not on that level. I think even if he did get in there, he would, he'd be skilled by them. Even if you got someone like, like my good friend Sonny Edwards, 100, 120 pounds, Sonny would skill him. There's levels to this and uh, Dean's not on their level. Um, I met the other, it was David. I met him, he seems like a lovely guy, but Dean is probably one of the best fighters on Misfit, so I'm gonna have to go with Dean still. Dean the Great, he's got skills. Dave's obviously another fellow Irishman. I'm going to have to back the Irish and go with Dave. It's, it's just got to be Dean the Great. I just don't see a world where he loses, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's going to be a, a, an easy knockout per se, but I think Dean the Great wins pretty easily. Dean the Great, Dean the Great, yeah. I feel like in terms of the whole card, I feel like he's one of the ones where the, that's the most excitable fight I'm looking forward to. Danny Aarons. Uh, not too familiar with the two you dig, especially in the U.S. Um, but I know Danny Aaron, that's the one that they, uh, Tennessee, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I know about him. But anyways, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I seen actually a clip of Danny Aaron. He said that, he's like, I don't think Dean is, uh, at the, what do you say, the GOAT level, but I think he's, he had, 
he has to prove more. I was like, nigga, what are you talking about? Are you dumb? It's champ level. It was like the champ level rankings, and he ranked me not being a champ. I'm like, nigga, I'm a champ. I got belts. What are you talking about? Anyways, but it looks like he's been putting in the work. The other soccer player, ah, you know, he plays soccer, just, just football, sorry. But um, I'm going to have to go with Danny Aarons. And he better put it on. He made an event. You dig? So I'm going Danny Aarons. Yeah. I know Danny Simpson's got the athletic pedigree behind him, but. I don't think he has what it takes to, to win a boxing match against Danny Aarons. Uh, I'll go with Aarons. I've honestly, I have no clue with that one, but I'll, I'll go with Danny Aarons. Let's go with Danny Aarons. He looks like he's been training really hard. I didn't really know much about Danny Aarons or Danny Simpson coming into this, so, so I, had no, I had no feeling, but I seen yesterday Danny Aarons saying that Dean's gonna smash me, so I'm Danny Simpson all day. Let's go, mate. Danny Aarons. I saw Danny, um, Danny Simpson's pad work Listen, I'm a Man United fan, even though I'm wearing Juventus kit. Loved you for us. Big up on winning the Premier League. But yeah, that pad work was terrible. Danny Aaron's all day. Transferable skills of any high level elite sportsman or woman, um, the discipline will carry over. So yeah, we'll go with Simpson. Danny Aaron looks good. I was training with Danny Simpson last week. I know he's only beginning, but so is Danny Aaron. So I'm going to go with a draw. Draw? I'm gonna go to draw, I like the two boys. I like that. Danny Aaron's baby. We're here to take over. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say Danny Aaron's round two knockout. <sighs> if, if Danny Aaron's can just channel his nerves and just remain confident, he was looking good yesterday, I think he should get the win. Um, again, especially with the short notice that um, the other Danny's had. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Danny Aaron's. I'm gonna go with Danny Aaron's.